creatures, it's Em and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Em. I'm a former zookeeper and an animal educator and I like to make different kinds of videos about animal facts and sharing various different pet tips. Are you, are you in this video or out? Because you wanted to come out and now that you're out, you're not being helpful. You're just melting all over me and I'm going to smell deliciously like you for the rest of the day. You're going to make me all fragrant. Yeah. Look at this, Niffler is growing in his beautiful winter coat right now and it's just, oh, so cute, so cute and chubby right now. Not unhealthily chubby, I'm just saying, he's just a little bit on the more chonky side with his winter wiggle right now. And I'm sure I'll be right round the corner with the amount of pasta I've been eating recently. Yes. Today I'm going to be showing you how I clean my pets. I'm so pleased I actually caught that, it probably looks like I'm scared of getting hit in the face, but I'll take it. But first... Oh, okay. Let's go get filthy. Okay, first things first, I'm going to have to remove everything from inside the enclosure so that I can easily take it apart. Looks like the ferrets are ready to come out, which is good because I need to take everything out of their enclosure anyway to get it ready for cleaning. You guys are going to come out? Hi, Toby. Good morning to you and Niffler with your beautiful plush coat going on. You look gorgeous. Gorgeous. Dobby, leave that. Dobby, leave it. Dobby, no. Dobby, no. Get out of it. That's rude. Are you serious? You have toys and you choose the dustpan brush. Excuse me. Excuse me. No. Where are you going with that? You can't have that. I need it. This is for cleaning. Maybe it will help you to clean up your act. Dobby, that's not going to fit back there. I wouldn't try it. Oh, oh, you surprised me. Okay. I am going to put you in the charity donation box so somebody else can deal with you. <gasps> huh? <laughs> How'd you like that? Ma'am, ma'am, you're being disorderly. Don't you hiss at me, that's rude. Fine, take it, see if I care. Bye. What on earth are you doing? All right, this is where we're at right now. I've deconstructed the Furplast ferret tower. It's pretty simple to take apart, um, but not ideal. I don't think most people take it apart to clean it, um, but I like to once every quarter or so. Otherwise, I just spot clean using my vinegar spray. I'm gonna put the ferret bedding in the wash. Then I'm gonna get started on the actual cleaning of the enclosure, starting with the base. The ferret bedding is now in the wash. Um, it is actually inside out because naturally the most of the odor is on the inside. Tinkerbell, do you smell the ferrets? Yeah? You smell the ferrets? She loves the ferrets. Can you give me a woo? Tinkerbell. A woo. A woo. So this is Tinkerbell. She is my roomie's dog. She is not mine, but she's so beautiful. You are a queen. So I'm just gonna um, put that on a heavy duty wash cycle. And I'm gonna be using seventh generation laundry detergent. Um, you have to remember that ferrets do have sensitive skin. So you don't want anything that is very harsh, no harsh chemicals or fragrances. Um, and so this is what I'm gonna be using today. So if you can hear some rattling in the background, I do apologize, that is the washing machine and the sound of the metallic clips on the ferret bedding. But I just wanted to show you, before I get started on cleaning the uh, base of the enclosure in the bathtub, um, some of the different products I'm going to be using to help me to achieve a really good deep clean on my ferret enclosure. Starting off randomly, I do have a toothbrush. This is because I want to be able to get in between the bars and the grates just to make sure I get a really good clean and into all the crevices of the enclosure. This is a toothbrush that I bought on Amazon in a pack of six. Um, it's a charcoal bristle brush and it's also biodegradable and eco-friendly. I'm trying to do much better with being a lot more sustainable. Living with Kate, who is a sustainability and wellness influencer, has definitely opened my eyes a lot to how wasteful I can be. So um, if you don't want to invest in designated toothbrush, you can just use an old toothbrush of yours and hold on to it and clean it in between uses when cleaning your enclosures. So this one's gonna be for my ferrets. I have 
have a couple more for some of my other animals. And this is also made from loofah, so it is a, uh, a grown loofah from California. This actually expands in water, you have to soak it for about three minutes. I haven't done that yet, so it looks very flat. It's again, eco-friendly, uh, very important to me at this point in my life, so I just wanted to do my best and invest in one of these. However, if you don't have um, the ability to invest in a much more eco-friendly sponge, you can just hold on to the same sponge that you use for your pets and reuse it and then put it in a bleach solution in between cleans so you can do that as well um, and then this is my homemade pet cleaner what you choose to clean your enclosures with is vitally important because the wrong cleaning products could potentially prove toxic to your pets I like to use natural limited ingredient solutions for cleaning my pets and one of my favorite cleaning solutions is super simple to make Vinegar is a natural byproduct of plant fermentation. Most household vinegars contain 5 to 10% acetic acid, which is very effective in breaking down mold, cutting through grease, and hindering the growth of some bacteria. White vinegar solutions are extremely popular in households with accident-prone pets, like incontinent cats and new puppies, because the white vinegar is strong enough to neutralize the ammonia in urine, but it's not harsh enough to damage your wood floors or your carpet. I'm going to walk you through how to make your own white vinegar cleaning solution, which is gentle enough to use around ferrets and on most reptile enclosures. However, I do not recommend this cleaning solution for use around particularly sensitive amphibians or invertebrates. To make this white vinegar cleaning solution, you will need a measuring jug, a spray bottle, distilled white vinegar, water, and a kettle. Begin by sterilizing your spray bottle with boiling hot water. Next, depending on the size of your spray bottle, measure out the white vinegar. I am using one cup. Next, measure out your water. Again, I'm using one cup. And that's it. Super simple, all-purpose, pet-safe cleaner. Ooh, another important note, if you're going to be using lots of different kind of cleaning solutions around the house um, and you're making them yourself, be sure to clearly label them. This is the first that I've made in quite a long time and they're brand new bottles, so I know exactly what this one is because it smells of vinegar very, very strongly. But I'll also be making another one potentially with essential oils and another one um, which will be maybe just pure water for something else. So I will be labeling them all in due course, but yes, you should certainly label label yours. Ooh, and eco glass. Okay, I am currently in the basement level bathroom. This is a very big house with four very large bathrooms. So um, this one down here is just like the one that nobody really uses. Um, it's mostly used just for bathing the dogs or doing animal type stuff. So it just makes sense that this one is the least used and we use it for the animals. Um, and the reason why I'm not washing the enclosure outside is because my roommate grows a lot of organic produce. Um, and I don't want any runoff from this to affect her um, crops. I'm also wearing vinyl gloves. I normally prefer nitrile um, without powder in them, um, but these are going to get wet. Uh, so yes, not exactly eco-friendly, but they will save my hands from the acetic acid. Speaking of which, let's get in there. Okay, I just finished um, the reassembly of the enclosure and it is all nice and clean. I got in all of the crevices and all the cracks and it just is looking mighty lovely right now. So I'm really excited to get Dobby and Niffler back in here, but first got to put back the beds, which should be done right about now. I don't think they're in there, Sausage. Are you trying to find them? Does it smell like ferrets, but 
a bit more clean. Why are you licking your lips? Ferrets are friends, not food. They're not food. Cannot eat the fert ferts. No. Yeah, that's not helping either. I need to see what's behind you. Huh? You want to move out the way? Oh, now we're going to sit in my lap. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're so adorable. Here's the bedding. It is all ready to go back into the enclosure. This is what I'm using as substrate right now. I say right now because I usually use Carefresh odor control bedding. I think it's called Odor Stop, perhaps. However, during the pandemic, it's been very difficult to get hold of in the color that I want, which is white. The reason why I choose the white substrate is not purely aesthetic, it's also because it helps me to accurately identify where my ferrets are going to the bathroom in terms of not just where they're pooping, which is always very obvious anyway, but where they're peeing as well. Um, so this is makes it very very obvious where it is. Um, I could easily go and get the brown care fresh or the blue or the pink or the mixed purpley yellow bags that they have but um, it's very difficult to find that on Amazon Prime right now. So I am just using this Katie Clean and Cozy, which I am very surprised. Um, my pets really, really like this. Um, so I would say that this is softer than Carefresh. However, even though this does have odor control guaranteed, I don't think this odor control works quite as well as the one on Carefresh. So um, I also realized that this seems to clump together more. So you waste a lot more of this substrate um, which is much softer and much plusher when you're scooping out the poop um, rather than when you're using the Carefresh. Um, so it's really up to you if you wanted to try them. Again, I will link everything down in the description box below in case you wanted to go and try it um, for yourself. I have not tried this on any other animals apart from my ferrets. Um, I, I just like to keep my ferrets on this kind of a substrate. I do not like to put them on sawdust. I do not like to put them on wood chip and I really don't like to put them on fleece. Um, so this I find is a very uh, good option for my ferrets. They seem to really enjoy it. It is not dusty at all. As you can see, it's 99.9% .9 dust free. Um, same with the Carefresh as well. It's also not dusty at all. So um, that's this is just what works very well for my ferrets. Um, feel free to try it if you want to. And actually, that is one of the reasons why I particularly wanted this enclosure because it's very deep. I don't know if you can see, but if I put my hand in here, you can see that there is ample space for um, bedding. Uh, so it's really great. It doesn't spill over the edge as it would in, say, some other enclosures where you could not use um, this particular kind of bedding. But I find it's very nicely contained in here. Your face is funny and people keep on thinking you're afraid of me when you're not. Yeah, the, my dog has a really interesting expression a lot of the time where he looks terrified and he's not, and he licks his lips a lot and it looks like he's whale eyeing, um, but he's just, that's the way he is. Hi. See, like that does look a little bit like um, discomfort or being uncomfortable, but he's a very, very chill dog. Hi. Oh, we're going in for the belly rubs. There we go. Can you give us a look that doesn't look like you're terrified of me all the time? Because people are getting the wrong end of the stick here, huh? Huh? I cover your eyes. They gone. <laughs> you want to hold hands? You're a good boy. I'm cleaning my ferret bowls before they go back into the enclosure. These bowls are plastic and I'm scrubbing them with hot water and natural dish soap, followed by pouring boiling hot water over the top and letting them sit for around an hour. I sometimes use a very mild bleach and hot water solution if I've been feeding my ferrets raw food, but since they've recently only been on kibble, today I'm just using hot water and natural dish soap. Excuse me, this is not for you or for you. Not at all. This is for ferrets. So I'm currently out in the garage and this is Kiba's freezer. He has his own freezer. Um, and there's a couple of things in here which I've tried the ferrets on. I have yet to try Dobby and Niffler on this. It is a whole prey quail from Naked Beasts. So I'm hoping that they might enjoy that. Um, this is actually Kiba's. This is goat hide, which is rolled with the fur on. Then there's like some kefir down there for Kiba's raw diet. But there's a couple of things in here that I've tried them on. So at the very bottom, I don't know if it's going to focus. We have rabbit and then we also have 
buffalo, we have duck, we have mice. I've even tried them on some of the mice. This is all just frozen mice. Um, I've tried them on so many different kinds of meats and they're just not that interested. So I don't try and force them. I know it's a much better diet for them, but slowly, slowly with a little bit of patience and a little bit of extra effort, I'm hoping to be able to convert, ke um, not Kiva, um, Dobby and Nifla over onto raw full time. That's the idea, but thus far it has been very unsuccessful for me. So if you have any tips of your own for converting uh, ferret to raw, Leave me a comment in the comment box below. All right, troublemakers, in you go. Enjoy stinking the place up. Nifla, are you, are you enjoying your new clean bed? Huh? Are you gonna go swimming in your, in your substrate? Hi. Oh, seriously? They haven't even been in for two minutes and she's decided to christen it. Thanks, Dobby. Look at that concentration. That's wonderful. Thank you for doing that. Great. Oh, you as well? Really? Really? Thank you. I appreciate that. All my hard work with a lovely brand new clean enclosure and he's still going. Wow. Great. Thank you. I will enjoy cleaning that up right now. <sighs> Everyone looks fantastic and is nice and clean. And you are cute and adorable. And just to finish up the clean of the day, I am just going to spritz a little of this goodness all over and let it just chill down into the carpet. If you have not seen this before, it is called, ooh, Angry Orange Odor Eliminator. The tagline on this spray is, smells like heaven, works like hell. Industrial Strength Pet Odor Eliminator. And let me tell you, this stuff is incredible. I love the smell of oranges and all I can smell pretty much the entire day long is oranges despite the fact that I have smellies behind me. Intensely smelly smellies. So this is not sponsored in any way. Um, I actually wrote off to Angry Orange myself because I saw that they had been advertising their pet odor eliminator spray um, on their Instagram and I was like, oh, okay, I wonder if these would hold up against ferrets. And I'm pretty sure that's what I said in my DM, like I want to test them against the scent of my ferrets because as you guys have seen, my ferrets are right next to where I work, which can get a little bit smelly. Um, so even though I'm diligent about keeping on top of my ferrets um, toilet habits because they are literally right next to me all day long sometimes the room just needs a little bit of a spritz and this has been absolutely incredible I mean look how much I've used this you really only need to use like one spray or two in a room and the place will smell like oranges pretty much the rest of the day um, this here is the um, top up it's the concentrate um, so basically this makes uh, how many of these it makes one gallon of industrial strength from this. So that's that's kind of incredible. And this has been great too, because sometimes Dobby and Niffler, when they're out playing, they might back into a corner um, and just go to the bathroom on the floor. And this has been great with cleaning that up. I mean, it doesn't happen a lot because I'm pretty diligent with them, but between the two of them, they can run circles around me still. So this has been great. Um, it's a bioenzymatic pet stain and odor eliminator. And it also means that it leaves the carpet just smelling lovely. It's really, really gentle on carpets. It's also really gentle on wood surfaces as well. Um, so if you are potty training an animal at home or you have ferrets, this would be amazing for you. I will link them down in the description box below. Thank you, Angry Orange, for sending these over. Yes, I did ask for them and I was not asked to make this video for them, but I just wanted to because they are really fantastic. So feel free to go and check them out. 
Oh, and you don't spray your pets directly with this. This is like nice to make the room smell good. And this is for cleaning up like spots on the floor where pets have messed. Um, so it doesn't go directly onto your pets. You don't spray your pet bedding with it. Um, it's just like a general spritz for the room. And this is a spritz for the floor so that you're able to clean up your pet messes. So I just want to clarify that. And I would personally not use it in um, a room with birds because they might find it irritating. But if you have ferrets or something smelly in the house, like a teenager who won't clean up their bedroom, this will be a godsend for you. And that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed cleaning my ferret enclosure with me. If you have your own pet cleaning tips, be sure to share them in the comment box below. Knowledge that you have could really help others. And that is it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you learned something new or just enjoyed escaping for a couple of minutes and watching me try to clean out these enclosures with my ferrets just being ridiculous, as they always are. I hope you got something valuable from this video. Again, if you haven't yet shared your tips for cleaning your animals, please feel free to do that down in the comment section below. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you in another video soon. Bye. Oh, you're, you're really ready to go, aren't you? <laughs> God, if you guys could smell me right now. Whew. Oh dear. That's a problem. <laughs>